Welcome to Snobio. Every Snobian has to do three things in their lives. Create and set up an email account, launch a personalized email group campaign, and boost business and sales productivity. And it's time to tackle the first point. In the account tab, find the email accounts page and click the add email address button. You will see the following email account types. Gmail, SMTP, Outlook, and Exchange. We recommend choosing an SMTP option if you want to send emails in bulk. SMTP is known for its high sending volume, stellar sender reputation, and excellent inbox placement. Do not use personal emails like kseniaskabalska at gmail.com for outreach purposes, as this type of account is not supposed to be used for bulk sending and is intended for personal mailing only. Fill in the SMTP settings of your business email sender account. In the from name and from email fields, enter a name and email address that will be visible for the message recipient. In the username and password fields, enter the credentials of the email account you will use for sending emails. In some cases, an app password is needed. For example, when adding a G Suite account, go to your Google account settings. In the security tab, find the sign into Google section and click app passwords. Generate the app password and paste it to the password field in your Snowy account settings. The information in the from email field can vary from the information in the username field, or it can be just the same. Now let's move on to the rest of the settings. SMTP host is the name of the email server. Usually it has this format, smtp.domainname.com. SMTP port is a port number for email sending. TLS and SSL are encryption protocols. In messages per day, you can set the maximum number of emails that sent from your account daily. Remember that this parameter shouldn't exceed the limit set by your provider. Delay is the time interval between sending emails. You can set a fixed or a random delay. Next, fill in the IMAP settings so that Snowview can track the replies to your campaigns. First, add the IMAP host. Usually, it has this format, imap.domainname.com. Port 9 and 3 is the secure port for IMAP, and it works over TLS and SSL encryption. You also need to enable IMAP in your email account settings. For example, let's take a look at how you can do it in Gmail. In the top right menu, click Settings. Then, see All Settings. Go to the forward in an IMAP pop tab and click Enable IMAP in the IMAP Access section. If you want to forward the incoming emails to another email address, enable the Set a different reply to address option in SMTP settings. You will then be able to enter the email address you want to get the replies to. Next, in the IMAP settings, check the Use a different email account for receiving emails option and enter the username and password of the email account you want to receive replies to. You can also add the BCC email address to forward all the emails sent by Snowview through this sender account to US CRM. For better deliverability, we recommend setting up a custom tracking domain. Just add a new CNAME record, snowstream.com, to your tracking subdomain or domain in your domain settings panel. Before you save the settings, check the validity of the entered data by clicking the Send a Test Email to Check Connection button. If the connection is established with your email account, a success icon will appear and you will receive a test email. You can now click Save Settings and move on to the next step, creating and launching your first email drip campaign. But before sending emails at scale, don't forget to warm up your email account to avoid the spam folder and build your sender reputation. There is good news. You do not need to do it manually. We can do it for you. Want to know more? 
check out our next guide on how to warm up your email account with the Snowbee email warm-up tool. Oh, 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 oh